baby. Welcome to Winnie Wednesday. Here she is. She's getting into trouble. She's been knocking over the camera, but she is a lab. And everything must go to the lab for testing. Well, it's all too true. She eats everything. And I know, they say chocolate labs are even more difficult. She's perfect, but look what she did. After three days of throwing up, this is what she gave to me in the middle of the night. No, I do not know what it is. If you do, please let me know. That's the cleaned up version. That's the only thing you're gonna see that she's returned today. But I got to thinking, there's a Proverbs 26, 11, and it says, a dog returns to their vomit, like a fool to their folly. I really never understood it. I thought it was just one of those weird things. I, here, Winnie, wait, don't take that. I thought it was just one of those weird things that doesn't quite make sense, but now I understand because, well, I've cleaned up a lot of vomit and she always returns to it. Now, it occurred to me that that vomit is kind of like sin. You and me, we do sin. That's the truth. And there's no if, ands, or buts about it. And yes, just like she returns to the vomit, we return to our sin. We are fools to folly. We like it. And God, in God's eyes, sin, by definition, is separation from God. That sin is like vomit. It's disgusting. And I'll tell you, even when my kids were young, vomit was not on my job resume or job description. Couldn't do it. It was always his job. I don't like it. And that's how God feels about our sin. But we still choose it over and over and over again. And that sin can be all sorts of things. It can be abuse. It can be idolatry. Gluttony, like Winnie. Be, be sloth-like behavior or lethargy. Even worse, but they don't sound as bad, but in my heart, I think they're worse. Uncaring. Seeing an injustice happen right before your eyes and doing nothing about it. These things are abominable in God's sight. And we continue to return to them again and again and again. Why? Because we like that immediate gratification. It feels good when we do it, right? Just like when Winnie likes to go and vomit up her food, it feels good momentarily, right? And that's how it feels with sin. Immediately, it's got a gratification, but it takes a toll. It took a toll on her, and she didn't feel well, and it took a toll on my pocketbook. She's worth it. It takes a toll on us communally, individually and corporately. When we sin, we lose trust in one another. We fail to build community and we break apart fellowship. Corporately, individually, those sins, they all tear us apart. And there is a cost. And just like Winnie, we return to it over and over again. And we know it's wrong. We know it's disgusting. But we just can't help it. I'm so thankful that it is our good and gracious God that sees our vomit, cleans it up for us when we confess our sins, and forgives us, because otherwise there's no hope for me. But God is like that. Even in our sin and in our folly, he loves us and calls us back home. And sometimes, like Winnie, Winnie, come. Watch this. Winnie, come. Come on, Winnie. And she literally just looked at me and turned away. Winnie, come. So God does for us as well. Gina, come. Marta, come. Ruth, come. Jacob, come. Isabel, come. And we may turn a fleeting glance, but just a little bit, and go, ah, no thanks. We keep running towards our vomit, towards our sin. She still hasn't come back. Winnie, come here, baby. Winnie, come. We are just so stubborn, and we're more like dogs than we really need to to. We need to admit that we're more like dogs than we're willing to say. And this one is not a positive image, but it's an illustration. And if you hate vomit as much as I do, maybe you'll see it as a message from God. Who knew God could use vomit to tell us about his message? But there's forgiveness and there's healing. We just have to listen when God says come. And when we're caught with whatever sin that we're about, here she comes, just like Winnie, with the kitty cat, with paper in her mouth. Yeah. I 
all sorts of things, I forgive her too. I'm thankful that God sees us for the image he made us in and not the one that we portray to the world. And I'm thankful that my Savior saves me today and all days. My friends, have a beautiful day. It's gorgeous out here. And Winnie, can you say bye? Bye-bye. Yeah, we're going to play now. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Thank you.